Welcome to Brass Crafts How to Install a Push Connect by Push Connect Water Shut Off Valve video. This valve is a quarter turn valve, which means with a quarter turn of the handle, you can start and stop the flow of water. Its compact body makes it ideal for small spaces. You can install it on copper, PEX, or CPVC water piping systems. And with the Push Connect outlet, you can use the valves with flexible copper or a PEX riser. In today's installation, we're going to install a valve on a copper stub out and we'll use a PEX riser for the connection to the toilet. For today's installation, you'll need a pail and rag, a pipe cutter, a deburring tool, a marker, sandpaper, new riser, and a new shutoff valve. The packaged valve should include a valve with a pre-installed tube insert on the inlet and outlet, installation instructions on the inside of the package. Before removing the existing valve, shut off the main water supply. Open a faucet at the lowest point of the house. This could be an outdoor garden spigot or basement laundry tub faucet. This drains excess water from the system and reduces the amount of water that escapes when the existing valve is removed. As you can see, we've already removed the old valve and water supply line. Next, clean and deburr the end of the copper tube. Be sure to remove any burrs, residue, or sharp edges from the copper tube end. The tube must be free of any damage, including dings or dents that may prevent the push-on connection from sealing properly. Make sure the tube length will accommodate the depth of the valve and flange. The valve requires a minimum of one inch from the end of the tube. With the flange, you'll need about one and a half inches. So mark the tube one inch from the end, slide the flange over the tube and push against the wall. Now push the valve onto the tube until the valve reaches the mark and you feel resistance. Position the outlet of the valve toward the fixture. The pre-inserted tube insert will self-align with the tubing. For the connection to the toilet, we are using a Brasscraft PEX riser 3 8 inch OD. Cut the riser to length, allocating additional 15 16 inch for insertion into the valve. Make sure to cut the end square and deburr the inside and outside with a deburring tool. Next, mark the riser 15 16 inches from the end. Push the riser into the valve until the valve reaches the mark and you feel resistance. Make sure to follow the toilet manufacturer's instructions for installation of the riser to the fixture. Make sure that the valve is in the off position. Handle should be perpendicular to the valve body. Turn the main water supply back on. Now open the valve and check the valve and riser connections for leaks. If connecting to a faucet, remove the faucet aerator and turn the faucet on to purge air from the line and wash through any contaminants. Once the water runs smoothly, turn the faucet off and check the valve and riser for leaks. Remember to reattach the faucet aerator. Once that's done, the installation is complete.